Hey, what's up? This is Marcus with Machine City Audio. So for today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up your KeyLab controller from Artoria inside of Studio One. Now, this is if you're a PC user, this is for you. If you're using Mac, I can't guarantee this is work, but you can try it out for Macs. So again, this is setting up your Artoria KeyLab inside of Studio One for Windows. All right. So. One of the things you want to do first off is go to the studio one tab and we'll click on that and then you go to options all right so now that we have that set up you want to make sure that you go to external devices and then you click add so we click on that and then from the external devices you want to go through the drop down menu and click on mackie we click on mackie and then you click on control all right so that'll bring up this window and then you'll go to receive from and choose MIDI Artoria Key Lab Essentials. All right. Then next you want to go to send to same thing, MIDI Artoria Key Lab Essentials. All right. So now we got that. Click OK. And you will see it right here where it says Mackie Control. Now we see that right there. All right. So let's close this out. And make sure that you come to map select choose DAW mode on your controller and now let's see what this works all right so now you can see that we are controlling studio one some of the features in studio one so if i click play you can see that that's moving now hit record you can see the record lighting up and then we do the metronome record and we have that done all right so now we are controlling the DAW and everything is ready with that. All right, so let me load an analog lab. All right, now here's the issue I ran into when I was trying to set it up. So you want to make sure you come back to map select and choose analog lab on the key lab. And I was pressing everything and I don't hear any sound. Nothing was working and I didn't know what to do. All right, so let me show you what I did for that. All right, so you got to come back into Studio One click on the studio one tab again go to options again and make sure you're on external devices we're going to do add again and but this time we're going to choose new keyboard and let's just name this all right so we named that Artoria and then name this key lab key lab e and then what you want to do from there is go to receive from and this time choose Artoria Keylab Essential 61. Not MIDI, just the one that says Artoria Essentials 61. All right. So we choose that and then you want to hit OK. All right. So as you can see, now we have Keylab E set up and now we have Mackie Control both set up on external devices. You want to make sure that you see both of these listed in the external devices or it will not work. All right, so now we click OK and let's load up Analog Lab. And if I hit this, we should hear some noise. All right, so now we hear some noise. And again, make sure that you're on the map select and you choose Analog Lab. All right, so let's go through some of the options. As you can see now, we can control some of these options. All right, so there you go. It's as simple as that. And so now you're set, you're ready to go. All right. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. I'll try to answer them the best way I can. And as I said before, I do not know if this will work inside of any other DAW or any other operating system besides Windows. But you're more than welcome to try. And if it does, please let me know and I will pin the comment. And that way we can let other people know that it works. All right. So I am Marcus with Machine City Audio. Peace and until next time.